Hello everyone, how are we doing? Welcome to AFC Game by Game. This is the preview for the game on Wednesday night. Arsenal playing Ludogrets at home. A team that I know virtually nothing about. They're the champions of their respected league, but beyond that I know very little about the team that we're coming up against on Wednesday night. But they're in the Champions League, so we have to treat them with the respect that they deserve. They've they've uh, humbled Liverpool in the past. They've, um, they've taken points off Basel in this Champions League group. Uh, an away trip to Basel is always going to be a difficult game. They put up a very good fight against Paris Saint-Germain at home. They got the first goal in that game and looked... Um, they look like an exciting team at times. So I'm interested to see how we'll, we'll fare against them at the Emirates Stadium. Of course, I would expect us to dominate this game. That should go about saying we should be wiping the floor with Ludogrets. And uh, I do expect us to go with a very strong lineup on Wednesday night. I think Ars- uh, Arsene Wenger will be wanting to carry on with this winning formula he's got. But I do want to see a few minor minor changes in the Arsenal starting eleven. I'd like to see Kieran Gibbs come in for Nacho Monreal. I'd like to see Oxley chamberlain given a start. Alex Awobi, Santi Cazorla given a rest. I think it's important that we are a bit more conservative with our players, especially when we've got such um, such talent in reserve as well. It's a good chance for Lucas Perez to get a start in an Arsenal shirt. It's a good chance for Oxley chamberlain to, to really make a claim in the starting eleven if he can do that in this game. But I think we are starting to see what is our strongest eleven at the minute. That front three of Awobi, Alexis Walker. I mean, you can't look beyond that at the moment, but I do want to see that change a little bit. Uh, in this game on Wednesday night, I want to, as I say, I want to see Lucas Perez starting that striking role. And Oxley Chamberlain, just regarding him, none of us know what his best position is. Um, I don't know it, and I'm pretty sure that you don't know it either. He could play on the wing. He could, he can certainly do a job on the left or the right hand side of the pitch for us. But we've also seen him deployed in a central midfield role from time to time. So. I asked the question, where is his best position? After five years at Arsenal Football Club, at the age of 23, he does not know his best position, which is worrying. It really is, because he, if he is going to make a, make a claim for himself in this team, then he, if he doesn't know where he's, he's best suited, or if Arsene Wenger hasn't yet worked out where he's best suited, that's not going to bode well in his favour. So in this game, where I think some of his personal best performances have come is from the centre of the park. And if we do go into this game with uh, the option of giving Santos Cazula a rest, our backup options are Francis Coquelin or Mohamed Onene lining up with what you would presume is Granite Xhaka. And in my opinion, that's far too defensively minded for Ludogorets at home. So in that sense, on that topic... We could look to play Chamberlain in that uh, in that central midfield role, that box to box kind of role, um, alongside you know alongside Granite Jacker linking up with Moza Ozil as well. That could be a position that bodes well in his favour. Playing in a Jack Wilshere sort of role, breaking through, breaking through the opposition defence. I think it could be a great opportunity for him to get into the team. And you know I don't think it's a position where he's going to be regularly playing when Kazola comes back. He'll immediately take his place back in the team. And even when Aaron Ramsey comes back into the side, he'll take that place once again. So it doesn't really help that we've got so many players swamped in the midfield and swamped on the wings as well because I don't want to see Phil Walcott dropped. Um, I would like to see Alex Alexis Sanchez moved over to that left-hand side to give Lucas Perez a chance up top. We could look to rest Sanchez, but honestly, I think the guy is so unbelievably fit that we aren't really running a risk by playing him in this game. If we get the game won by 60-odd minutes and just, just take him off at that point, I mean, there's no point playing him for any longer than we need to. Ozil, I think he'll want to play in this game, so I'd give him a chance, as well, a chance another, another opportunity in the team in that central attacking midfield role. And, you know, a front three of, well, front four of Walcott, Ozil, Sanchez and Lucas Perez should be enough to get, you know, at least three goals in this game. So I'm going for Arsenal to win this game by three goals to nil. Looking forward to seeing how Chamberlain does do in that central midfield role. I'm, I'm talking about it like he's already going to be guaranteed to play there. Personally, I don't think Wenger's going to change an awful lot with the team. I do think we will see, still uh, see Santos because all the start of this match. I think we'll probably still see a Wobi start. I think he'll want to get this game wrapped up so we've got um, seven points on the board and we look a lot more comfortable in the, posi- in the position in our Champions League group because we have got Ludogorets back-to-back, so it's an opportunity to get six points on the bounce. Maybe he'll rest players for the away leg uh, against Ludogorets. I, I don't know. I can't quite read it to Wenger's mind but we've got an opportunity next week as well against Reading at home in the EFL Cup so he might be looking at that game and thinking you know what I'll give Kieran Gibbs I'll give Oxlade Chamberlain a chance in that match as opposed to a must win game at home to Ludogrets but I personally think we've got players in reserve that are more than capable of um, of taking the reins for, for one game against a team that we should be comfortably beating. Uh, but I'm looking forward to tomorrow night, our Champions League game, which, um, as I say, we should be winning. should be a very entertaining night for an Arsenal fan. Hoping we see a few players given a chance. Jeff Rain, Adelaide, uh, I believe, trained with the squad, so maybe we'll see a bit of him for, for, for 10, 15 minutes. That'd be quite nice. Um, Olivier Giroud and Aaron Ramsey have returned to training along with Carl Jenkinson, so maybe they'll be eyeing up a game against Reading next week. They haven't uh, been declared fit for this match, and I doubt they'll play against Middlesbrough at the weekend. But it's good to have such a fit, healthy squad in the... All the time that I've been supporting Arsenal, I've never seen a squad quite 
this healthy, so uh, so nourished. It's such an exciting team we've got at the moment. All these options in and around the squad. Very much looking forward to seeing um, the team lineups that play in the next couple of games. Anyway, guys, please do drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to AFC Game by Game. And as always, I'll be speaking to you very, very soon.